What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video. I'm mad excited, man. I have so many cool jerseys to show you, but I'm also just grateful in general. So that's just one of the things I just wanted to say. Hold on one second. My dog is scratching the door. One second. So today we have the Kevin Durant. Come here, girl. Come here. Say hi to the people. Oh, she loves a good back scratch. So today we have a Kevin Durant authentic jersey. This is the white version of the Basquiat. And I will say this right off the bat, the black Basquiat to me is a much nicer jersey. I do have both in my collection and I will do a comparison video for you sooner than later. But at the moment, we got the white Basquiat version, right? So here we have this Brooklyn Nets jersey, Kevin Durant. A lot of controversy behind the Brooklyn Nets at the moment. So I'm pretty sure this jersey should be available throughout the season, in my opinion, because nobody really wants to take a risk on buying this jersey. The fact is, he asked to be traded a couple of months ago. So we know Kevin Durant may not be on that team by the end of the year. I took a chance on it anyway. Kevin Durant, Brooklyn Nets jersey. I will say this, right? So like I said earlier, the black Basquiat to me is a nicer jersey. The Miami Heat did the same exact thing. Now, I haven't bought the Miami Heat version yet. Right, and I probably won't. I'll never say never. Of course, there's a discount or something pops up, and maybe I can get it at a ridiculous price. But to me, the white Miami Heat version looks better than the black. And for the Basquiat, the black looks better than the white. So that's just my opinion. Also, Miami Heat had this white jersey theme, hot white jersey, I believe, something like that. I'm sure the Miami Heat fans will let me know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like the white jersey relates to the Miami Heat a little bit more. A clean jersey, it's dope. Like if this was the first jersey or first Basquiat version we saw, I think it's dope. I think it's fine. But because we got the black already, I think the black one's just a little bit better. But still, I think this is a clean jersey. They have worn it on court already. I think for the most part, every team wore this City Edition jersey. The courts, I think, are as dope as some of these jerseys. So, for example, this LaMelo Ball, and we haven't seen him play yet in the jersey, but we've seen the team play in the jersey, and the home court looks so cool. If I have a picture, I'll put it up. Matter of fact, I'll wait until this video to show you what the court looks like. But the same for this, they have the Basquiat court as well. So, pretty cool, right? Before we get into the jersey, Basquiat is a Brooklyn artist from I believe the 70s and 80s. His paintings are extremely expensive. Jay-Z probably owns a bunch of them. <laughs> but he was a different type of artist and he used a lot of pastel colors. He used a lot of signature things that made his art unique. So it's pretty dope that they're basing it off of a Brooklyn based artist. I've done a review on the black Basquiat and I got a little bit more into details of what his art looks like. So if I have the link, I'll put it down below so you guys can see the black version. But this is for the most part, the same jersey just flipped into a white base jersey. All right. So let's get into the jersey really quickly. If you're familiar with the first Basquiat City Edition jersey, they did a little things in this jersey that I thought was dope. All right. So first thing I'm going to show you that they did was this blue and yellow Nike check. Right? We've never seen a two-tone Nike check symbol before. And then the reinforcement on the V-neck is stitched in orange. Again, something we've never really seen before, which is pretty dope. Right? We have the Brooklyn across in the black twill. And then your nets is embroidered on. Right? So that's pretty dope. And then you have hints of yellow and blue. And then you have your black on the twill. And then you take a look at the jock tag. Right in white, you see Jean Michel Basquiat, 
Then you see Brooklyn Nets underneath. And then you have a stitched crown. Right? And that's one of Basquiat's signature in his art. You would see crowns throughout the painting. And again, that was just one of his signature looks. So we take a look at the side. We have all these pastel colors. And this strip is a narrower strip. And again, the reinforcement stitching is a different color on this as well. So you see the orange reinforcement stitch. Then you have the stitched outline, which is super dope and super different than any other jersey. And this strip, just notice, as a certain width. This one is a little bit thicker, right? And then on this one, we have a blue stitch reinforcement on the trim. A lot more color to this trim, but you can see the pastel colors, the vibrant colors on this jersey. We take a look at the back, right? And we have a reinforcement stitched in orange, a reinforcement stitched in blue. And one thing that I like, and they did this in the first one as well. And again, I'm gonna do a comparison video so you guys can see the differences. But we have a blue Durant and a seven with the black number seven. Very nice, right? Other than that, your basic, authentic jersey. Very clean. And we're going to put this jersey on so you guys can see how it fits. So we have the white Basquiat jersey. This is how it looks. This is how it fits. And it is clean. It is one of those jerseys that I think if you're a fan of Kevin Durant or you're a fan of the Brooklyn Nets, which slowly I'm becoming one because my Knicks are my Knicks. So I don't want to get too much into the Brooklyn Nets drama, but there's a ton of drama this season. But this is the Basquiat in the white. So I think it's dope, right? We have the trim coming down. We have Durant and the black and different lettering. And then you have another piece of trim and the trim definitely is a nice touch. And I will show you guys a comparison video of the black version. I believe the black version sold out pretty quickly. I haven't looked at the third market for that jersey because there's no reason for me since I already have it. But from what I understand, it's like a four or $500 jersey now. So not to say that this is going to be that one day that these jerseys sometimes can skyrocket really quickly when it comes to prices especially if it's a more limited edition run. And there you have it, man. This is the Brooklyn Nets authentic jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. We'll be back again with another review. We're going to review this one next, All right? So stay tuned for that one. I also have a couple of NFL jerseys that we have to take a look at. Again, stay tuned for that one. And on that note, we out. Peace.